Hey everyone, Nux here. And today, I want to talk to all of you about some ideas for the next potential Smash Brothers. What? You, you mean the Smash 4 port? No. I mean the next, next Smash Brothers. Now, I'm sure it's a far ways away, but there are a lot of ideas I want to think about when we factor in the next Smash Brothers until then. Just to keep in mind, this video will mostly focus on most elements of Smash, except the characters. Characters are such a big topic of discussion and controversy that they warrant their own video. So yes, this video will be a two-parter as opposed to cramming it into one as usual. In that video, I will be making updates to ideas I've had from my past character list as well as adding in some new ideas and such. So with Smash Brothers being such a big Nintendo game and franchise, it makes you wonder, where to even begin? Well I guess we could talk about the core gameplay itself. Now for the most part, I've always been fine with how Smash plays in terms of its usual setup. The recoveries, the punches, and all sorts of other crazy moves. I don't think it has to go full, different focus only, and lose elements of say its items, its unique stages, its music, etc. But when it does come to the core gameplay of Smash, there are some elements I feel can make it more enjoyable, especially on many different standpoints. Now hear me out. I'm not a pro with the whole competitive scene of Smash Brothers, and in fact, in some cases, I really don't care, since I'm more of a softcore player, I'm like that in between the whole casual versus competitive nonsense. But there are some legitimate complaints when it comes to some of the things Smash could use. I do think with the core gameplay removing dumb stuff like random tripping and adding in cooler things like ranked battle modes and such was great. I do however see some ideas when it comes to older Smash that can be helpful. I do like the ideas of characters having a bit more weight to them, especially depending on the character. Obviously someone like Jigglypuff being a little more floaty and having good air game makes perfect sense, but other characters should maybe fall quicker or have certain advantages with their physics. But if we do stay with more of a Smash 4 type physics thing, that can work. Now, in terms of Project M and Melee goes for inspiration, does Smash need every single glitch or unintentional thing that made Melee develop for its movements and techniques for its fighting? No. It's not that game breaking without it, like some people would have you believe. However, the smoother movement and ideas in games such as Project M, or in this case, fan games, are good for what a Smash can play like in terms of core physics. For stages, I love the idea of Omega stages to where you can play a Final Destination style stage with any other course. It gave variety in music and background instead of being stuck with the same stages that are legal in terms of tournaments and stuff like that. But I think what Namco, Sakurai, or whoever should know is that we don't play on Omega stages because we think it's the best type. We just want to enjoy a stage without having to worry about getting blown back by Ridley from Pyrospear, for example. So what I suggest is perhaps the idea of alpha stages or something similar. Basically, you can play the stages such as Pyrospear, Wily Castle, or Magicant, but without the hazards or interruptions. Some stages do have great layouts, but just basically need a hazard toggle. So when it comes to the modes of the core Smash gameplay, I like the ideas that are currently present mostly. Even with special and some of the effects you can put on characters, but I would be lying if I didn't think something like 8 player Smash for example is not really that useful. It wouldn't be worth bringing back, at least in my opinion. Maybe some people enjoyed it sometimes, but for me, there were rarely times I needed to play with more than 4 players. So it's more so unnecessary in my eyes for the team to spend work on a feature like this again. But I wouldn't lose sleep if it just came back, it's like sure not that offensive. In terms of taking inspiration from something like Project M, I like the idea of Project M's All Star mode where you can set a character per stock and switch out with characters mid battle essentially. It sounds like a very fun concept, though they would have to name it something else if Nintendo did borrow that concept since. A, it is an original thing of Project M, and B, since All-Star is the name of an existing mode that has been in Smash. But just the concept alone is what I'd love to see. 
And also, Nintendo has even played with the idea of something like All Storm Mode from Project M in something like Smash Tour, where during the final battle of Smash Tour, your characters basically account for a single stock. So it's like not that hard to implement, I imagine, since Nintendo already has a good idea of how it could work. I just would love to see it in the next Smash Brothers. There are also some other cool ideas I've seen in Project M that I would love to be utilized in Smash Bros, such as the feature to have no blast zones and basically, you know, have an, a match that is infinite. It would mostly be beneficial for stamina matches, but I found it's really cool when you could have a match and not have to worry about failing to recover and have a core fighting experience kind of thing. Kind of like games of Street Fighter and such, where you more so have a death match as opposed to whoever can get knocked off the stage first. And of course, I'm not even done there. Looking at older Smash games gave me ideas for other points on extra features. First off, in terms of some extra features of Smash, again, like 8 player Smash, some of them don't even need to return. Because in my opinion, while Smash for Wii U and 3DS was jam-packed with content, there was a lot of it in there admittedly that I felt could have been left out and thus could have left less stress on Sakurai and the team's backs. For example, custom moves, while in some ways are really cool, are kinda useless in my opinion. There's way too many to collect and the game really makes you work to even get a quarter of them, plus you really don't get the chance to use them besides matches with friends and stuff like that, so I would not mind if they did not return. Or if custom moves do return, please just let all the custom moves be unlocked from the start or upon unlocking a single character. You can get all their custom moves right there and then. Another feature of Smash I question with no doubt is definitely Smash Tour itself. Honestly, I think this mode should have never even been a thing. Nobody really seemed to enjoy this mode as much and it felt like a waste of space. If I wanted to play a board game with crazy events, I'd go play Mario Party. And that's no offense to those who like Smash Tour maybe, and the people who worked on it, but that's just my two cents there. I also wouldn't be sure on something like Smash Run. Now one reason I do like Smash Run is in a way, it's kind of like a 4 player adventure mode with some of the charm from City Trial from Kirby Air Ride. And in my opinion, this is a great side mode for Smash and I wouldn't mind it returning as is. But in my opinion, here are the BIG modes I really want to see return with some improvements. First off, I definitely would love to see the original classic mode return. And not that cheap annoyance that is Smash 4's revamped classic mode, I mean the OG classic mode where you set your difficulty, take on some fighters, and then at the end, have your showdown with Master or Crazy Ken or such. Break the targets would also be welcome back. I especially would love it if it was like Smash 64 and Melee, where the course corresponds to the character you're playing as. Could see how that'd be annoying though, considering how many characters we have now, but maybe they could find a way for it to work, or if not, just having to break the targets back in general with general stages would be pretty cool. I also want to see the original tourney mode from games such as Brawl Return, where you can set the rules for the entire tournament automatically and run the tournament with each person. Online tourneys also would be great for return, but need the edit where you can actually set the settings to more specific rules, such as stocks and certain set of stages and something like that, etc. I felt the online tourneys had so many dumb restrictions holding them back, and they could have set way more cooler things, such as different stages per round as opposed to one stage the whole tournament, or just random and such like that. And then there are custom stages, which can either be gone next iteration or return. It really doesn't matter as much to me anymore. This is one of those things where I wouldn't mind if it disappeared from Smash, and I wouldn't mind if it came back either. But if it does return, hopefully it has some cool new and depth options. And of course, options similar to past games, because I'm going to be real, if we do get to the eventual Smash 5, I kinda want similar setups from Smash 4 back in the sense that I love Smash Get Ball and I would hate to see it go. But finally, one of the Smash features I want back the most is a full on adventure mode again, such as in Melee or more specifically to Brawl Subspace Emissary. I love the story mode in Brawl. 
It was great to see all the Smash characters interact in different ways and be tied together for this crazy, chaotic, nonsensical, yet fun story. I especially am more inspired than ever after seeing recent fighting games with their story modes. Basically, best case scenario is I want to see another story mode just like Subspace. Except without something like The Great Maze, please, because screw that part. But I did love traveling through the clashing worlds and environments. Just add a different worlds and environments from each of the franchises represented, have the enemies there have some sort of cool CGI cutscenes, and that would be great. But if we can't get a story mode again, I at least want to see a melee styled adventure mode, where you can venture through different Nintendo themed worlds with their enemies and occasionally a boss character. That would be the place where bosses are very welcome. For the ending, along with the usual trophy unlock and such, Maybe each character has a funny ending narrated in a style similar to their games, kinda like some other fighting games have done in the past. Also, if bosses return as consistently in a story or adventure mode, I would love to see something like an arena or true arena style um, gameplay such as the Kirby styled boss mode where you fight the bosses. And in the true arena like mode, maybe you can fight a secret boss like maybe a returning taboo or Master Core again, or something new, original, and crazy hopefully. I just think the way these modes are structured in my eyes define Smash more than others. So that is how I structured my ideas, and hopefully you guys enjoyed them. That's pretty much it in terms of some ideas I would love to see for the next main installment of Smash Brothers. Of course though, this was only part one, where we mostly talked about the extra content and bonus stuff the game would include. Next time, I want to specifically dive into characters. However, if you think I may have missed anything, let me know in the comments and I'll bring it up in the beginning of the second part before we touch the characters. Until then, this is Nux333 and bye dudes.